My son Zach always seems to be agitated and annoyed. He always seems to be very emotional, very angry. Small things can set off Zach. Zach doesn't have a personality. When the whole family's sitting and they're laughing, say at a movie or something that's going on in the house, he will start screaming at everybody. I don't know if Zach enjoys anything in life. <laughs> When you ask him about his day, he'll say, it was stupid. If you ask Zach what he's learned in school, he'll say nothing. For years to come, I am worried that Zach is going to end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope she dies tonight. The 10 year old Zach was diagnosed with autism at age eight. His family says since that time, he has been experiencing temper tantrums on a daily basis. So joining us is board certified behavior analyst, Megan St. Clair, who spent a few days with the family in their home. Also joining us is Dr. Charles Sophie, psychiatrist and medical director for the County of Los Angeles, uh, Department of Child and Family Services, and member of the Dr. Phil Advisory Board. Uh, so thank both of you for thank joining. You. We're gonna get thank contributions you. from both of you here. Megan, let me start with you. Um, what was your general impression of Zach when you left? That he was very receptive to treatment and that if we change the environment and how everyone is currently managing his behavior, we can see a lot of success. I've learned that people resort to violence when they run out of socially acceptable ways to express themselves. So if they don't know how to say what you want them to say or do what you want them to do, then they'll just blow up. That's when they start throwing things, yelling, melting down. And I think he's covering a lot of deficits with his meltdowns. I agree. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys think from what you, what, what you saw in his response to basically some very fundamental, rewarding, good behavior and putting the dots pretty close together on what was asked? Yeah, I do feel like um, when he wants something and he doesn't know how to ask for it, like in the kind way that we would know how, that's when he does get like maybe frustrated with himself and that's when he will start the outburst. When the behavioral expectations are clear and he is he knows he's going to get it right, he smiles and is very proud of himself. He walks down with pride, as you saw. Yeah. I folded those clothes. He overachieved. All he had to do was put it in the drawers, but he overachieved because he wanted her approval. Mm -hmm. Right. And so he actually folded the clothes and put them in there. He overachieved and he was proud of that. So he observed himself do that and attributed to himself the ability to do it. Now, he did something that I think would be a surprise. He actually made his bed. Yes, he did. <laughs> he made his own bed. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. This is not rocket science. No. Dr. Sophie says his family can expect for things to work out with Zach if they communicate and if the grandparents stop enabling Denise and Jared who need to be the parents. What are you talking about, Dr. Sophie? Well, I mean, I think it's obvious you all love him. That's great. Very much. But you're enabling him. You're enabling him by doing too much and you're enabling him by not doing enough. So like your response when Dr. Phil said, you know, he folded the clothes or he made his bed, you're, he had to make sure you were hearing him because you don't have a reaction. That's what he lives in, this conflict between all of you. You have a boy with issues who has to navigate a lot of conflict and where his mother is and where his mother isn't and who he's by. It's a lot of conflict. So the sooner you can resolve that, the quicker he'll get better. And I don't feel we have any conflict. I push a lot and say, go ask your mother. Go do this, you know, but go talk you to your that mother. To him, he's like, but you're my mother. No, not No, even. in his head, I'm saying. Okay. He's bonded. Yep. That has to be changed. That has to be shifted. Absolutely. He loves you. He's angry at you. When he came down the steps for you, you could see he shifted a little bit. He wasn't really comfortable. He's doing it, but he's got feelings about it for you. 